right, so we're going to go through our stretch and recovery workout now. Aiden's going to lead us through this roller exercise together. And so at this point, I'm going to let him go with it, and I'll be here for uh, timing support. So you let me know what you need. Okay. We're going to roll out our legs mainly right now, and we're going to do 30 seconds per leg. If you needed to do more, you can, but we're just going to do 30 seconds. Okay. Put your left leg on the roller. Take your right leg cross it over, and then lift up your butt, and then roll forward and backwards for 30 seconds. And what area are we focused on right now? Your calf. This is just doing the calf right here. Nice. Want to make sure you keep going. Don't want to stop. And is it 30 seconds per leg? Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. And you're going to want to rotate your calf around to get different spots. So there's six more, uh, sorry, three more seconds remaining, two, one, and that's 30. You're going to want to switch your leg now. So right leg on, left leg over. If you can't do the crossover because it's a little intense, you can put your leg down like this and help do it like that. But I want to get a deep roll. Feel that, Caleb? Yeah. Yeah. Or just put it low enough to Gotcha. Gotcha. And that's 30. So now you're going to go to the bottom of your hamstring. Yeah, your hamstring. Bottom of your thigh. Again, you can cross over for this one, or you can put your foot on the ground. I'm going to cross over for this one. And you're going to want to roll this side. Actually, I'm going to put my foot. A little intense, huh? We did a lot of leg stuff this week, so that's probably going to be really sen ten tender and sore. Ten more seconds in this position. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and we'll switch the other leg. Fifteen seconds remaining. Yeah, don't go any farther before you need that. You just get that in. Five seconds remaining. And that's thirty seconds. Okay. Now we're gonna focus on the inside of our hamstring, inside of our thigh. So you're gonna put the roller vertically like this, and you're gonna lay down on this one. Putting the roller, putting the roller near your knee, go down on your elbows, and then roll out the inside. That's five seconds. Fifteen seconds. 10 seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch to the other side. Now, if you don't have these Golden West rollers, any foam roller will work. If you have a foam roller around the house, a lot of people do. sides of our thighs. So this is a tricky one. You gotta put it at the base where your knee is and then you put put one hmm, you put an elbow down and then you cross your leg over and you roll it out like this keeping the other leg straight. So this is going to do the IT band which is on the outside of the 
your thigh. So you want to be on your side here, do it more. Like that. So yep. Let me get this closer to you. Just come to me. There we go, right there. There we go. You got it. And start. And you're gonna switch sides. I didn't Just count the 30 seconds. Oh, he was still okay. setting up. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. So if that's a little bit intense, like you do, you gotta put more weight on this front, on uh, this leg, this bent leg, so that you have less in, uh, pressure going down on the leg. That'll help re alleviate some of the uh, intensity of it. And this one you'll feel. This one you it really uh, digs in deep. There's five seconds remaining. Four, three, two, and one. And we'll switch to the other side. You know what that one? You felt that one? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that front leg is crossing over and that's designed to kind of help hold some of that weight, right? So you're just kind of like, it's almost like you're like, hey, how's it going? And then you just put up yourself like this and you can roll back and forth, okay? All right, you got that, Caleb? So get forward on your, get forward on your body first. I'll help you with that roll. So get that front leg, front, there we go. Good, good. All right, ready? Now we're going to do the tops of our thighs. This one, you're going to lay down again, but it's going to be horizontal. Base of the knee, lean forward on it. Why don't you scoot back just a little bit because I probably can't see it anymore. Base of the knee, lean forward onto it. Now are you doing one leg at a time or are you doing both legs? One leg at a time. So you're going to so walk, you can cross kind of it over. Oh, you're going to cross it over? Yeah. yeah. Start that watch. Fifteen seconds remaining. Five, four, three, two, one, and we'll switch to the other thigh. Again, the crossover on the leg is only if you want that super deep. If you want to go less intense, just leave that leg off of there and just do the one leg at a time. 15 seconds remaining. Eight seconds. And five, four, three, two, one, and that's it. So that's our legs. If you want to roll out your back, you can too. I would roll out my back. It's feeling a little bit tight. So you place the roller under your back like this. And then your hands start at, um, at your hips. And then when you roll forward, you bring your hands back. And then when you roll back, your hands go forward. And you can do this one for a minute. Can you turn the other way, Tim? Why don't you turn this way? Oh. I, I turn the other way, go feet to feet. Yeah. Now we've got to come on down this way. That way you're not going to knock it on this way. Go ahead and show them. So if you're going down, you go hands up. And then coming back up, your hands go down. You've got to go for a minute? Yeah. And All you right, want to have go. continuous motion while you're doing this. <laughs> yeah, hoods are not easy to do when you're doing this exercise. It's 22 seconds of fast.
five seconds, only 15 seconds remaining. Fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, and there's a minute. Great. So that's rollover, right? All right. So now we're gonna go through some stretching. All right. So we're gonna go through some sun salutations. I'll bring my mat into play. I'll move forward just a bit, and then you guys can stay back that way. We'll run into each other. Uh, maybe I'll scoot way back in. And then you guys stay slightly more forward so you guys are really, really don't have to be safe. All right, so we're going to start off with sun salutations, much like we did the other day for yoga. Uh, why don't you move up to the front of your mat there? Why don't you move up to the front of your mat there? That way you won't bonk arms. And here we go. Feet are together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, wide arms, strong back. Hinge up the hips all the way down. Touch the ground or as far as you can reach. Now inhale to a flat back. Exhale, place your hands down. You can just step back today. We're stretching, we're taking it easy. And then inhale forward. And exhale back to downward dog. And then we're gonna step ourselves back up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale back down, inhale, lift the head, arms wide, and then exhale to prayer, that's one, here we go, ready, inhale up, exhale, hinge at the hips, stepping down, inhale, flat back, exhale, place your hands and just step on back to plank today, inhale forward, Exhale back. And then step on up to your hands. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down. Inhale, head up. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, arms up. Tying our breathing to our motion. Exhale, arms wide. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands down. Step on back to plank. Inhale, forward. Exhale, backwards. And step on back up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, inhale head up, exhale to prayer, inhale up, exhale down, inhale flat back, exhale place your hands and step on back, inhale chaturanga forward, Exhale back. And while we're here, just go to your calf stretch one at a time at your own pace. You feel that? It's real tight. So just go, go easy, yeah? And step on back up. Inhale, flat back. Exhale down, inhale arms up, exhale arms down. All right, so for this one, we're gonna do a little bit of a neck stretch, okay? So we're gonna take our right arm, reach it out to the side like this, and you're gonna reach back behind, like you're trying to grab onto our other arm's elbow, okay? In fact, I want you to do, go ahead and grab onto that other arm's elbow, right? And now, we're going to take our head and take our left ear and bring it towards our left shoulder. Okay, just holding on there. So this is what it looks like from behind. See that my right arm is reaching across, grabbing onto my left elbow. I'm just going to hold this position. And then from here, we're just going to turn our face up towards the sky. Get a good look up there. And now we're going to look down towards 
towards our shoulder. back to forward facing and let that go let that arm go left hand reach it out to the side reach back behind and grab onto this elbow once again it's going to look like I'm crossing over like this going on that elbow now take my right ear drop it down towards my shoulder oh, I heard that you need an adjustment there here. Again, we're trying to get that shoulder or our far shoulder down as far as we can go. Our right ear towards our right shoulder. And now just inhale and exhale. Look up towards the sky. Turn your face up there. See what's on the ceiling. And a couple cobwebs that need to be dusted off later. And now we're going to take another deep breath here. Exhale and look down towards the ground, slowly towards your shoulder. back to neutral position or forward facing and then come on back up we're gonna do some head rolls and shoulder rolls now so now we're gonna start off shoulder rolls so we're gonna go real big forward one two really really big three try to make it exaggerated four five see how we're hollowing out our back and hollowing out our chest six hollow hollow seven Eight. Now let's go backwards. One, two, hollow in the back, hollow in the front. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to go to our uh, head rolls. So take a deep breath. Exhale your chin down towards your chest and now roll your right arm over towards your, or sorry, your right ear towards your right shoulder. Take a deep breath here. Exhale, roll your head back forward, cross the chest over to the left side. Nice deep breath here. Inhale. Exhale and roll forward again all the way across you should feel that all the way across your back in the upper part of your back so you're trying to listen to that secret that your shoulder wants to not tell your shoulders dropping away from the ear but your ears getting close deep inhale and then we're going to switch the other shoulder we're listening over here to that left shoulder now but that shoulder's not going to come up. Don't let that shoulder come up. That shoulder's down. Like it's disinterested in anything that's going on. That left ear wants to know. And then deep breath here. Exhale forward. This will be our last round here on this side. Inhale. Exhale, go forward. Cross. Yeah, last time to listen to our shoulder. Inhale, exhale, bring your chin to your chest, and then lift your head up. Okay, so now we're gonna go for arm circles. I'm gonna scoot back so we don't hit each other. And we're just gonna go right arm circle like this. Oh, sorry, back of the right, you're right. We're gonna go like this. So small, tight circles here. Arms are, uh, fingertips are up, so we're engaging these muscles all the way across the top of the arm, all right? And we're just making small, tiny forward circles, little wax on, wax off here from our Karate Kid days. Gen Xers out there know what I'm talking about. Now we'll go backwards. So we do this with our fingertips up so that we engage the muscles the first part before we stretch them. Okay, so that's gonna help the blood flow into them, get them a little bit warmed up, and get those muscles activated before we stretch them. Now we're gonna go fingertips down and we're going to go with staggered steps so that we protect our back. We're going to go real big circles now. Ready? One, two. So with the fingertips down, three. That's going to stretch out all those muscles along the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then four is one, two. 
three, four, breathing, five, six, seven, eight. And shake that out. Do some huggers here. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit no arms here. Now we're going to go to a speed skater. So in this position, we kind of, you can do the staggered step like this. You can do it wide leg like this. It kind of depends on what you feel like you can do. And you're just going to twist through the body. Twist, 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 twist. Keep going. We got a couple more like this. And shake that out. Okay, so now we have our uh, tabletop on our back. So this is going to help stretch out our biceps and our shoulders. So what we're going to do is we're going to be on our back. Now you can do this a couple ways with your hands. I'm going to turn sideways. These guys keep facing forward. I'll do this sideways. So you can do forward facing with your fingertips. You can do outwards. You can do backwards. Doesn't really matter. Whatever feels right for you. I'm going to go ahead and keep my fingers facing backwards. So our feet are planted down here on the ground, okay, knees are up, right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to lift your hips up to the sky, and the higher you get your hips, the more you're going to feel that in your shoulders and your biceps stretching that out, and just hold that position for a little bit. Okay? Make sure before you go up, you pinch your shoulder blades together, so that way you don't get bad posture. That's a good point. You bring your shoulders backwards, yeah. Yeah. and then so, Hold that position, stretching out those biceps, those shoulders. You're also getting a little bit of a glute workout right there, the hamstring, you feel that? Okay. We're gonna take care, of, they're gonna get pretty tight here, we're gonna take care of that next. And we'll come on back down. So now we're going to the figure four stretch. So let me show you how this one works. You, yeah, you got it. So we're gonna take our right foot, put it on our left knee. All right, on this one, so we've got this, you just made the fantastic four symbol here. That hole that's in the middle is what we're going to reach our right arm through. Okay, but we're going to come back onto our back. So my right hand is reaching through that hole because my right foot is across on my left knee. I'm going to grab onto my left knee like this. Now I'm just going to pull that towards my face. So I'll turn sideways so you can see what this looks like sideways. You guys stay just like you're doing there. So you're going to reach through and just pull that towards your face. I'll often use my elbow to push this knee open more. You'll really feel that in your hamstring and in your glutes. You feel that, Caleb? You feel that? Good. Now, if, you, if you're kind of flexible, you can do, I've seen yoga instructors do this or reach through like this. Uh, oh. This one, I'm a little tight in the hamstring, so I'm just going to keep in this position here. Breathing. And let that go. Now we're going to switch the other leg. So left ankle on right knee. Here's my figure four. I'm going to take my left hand and reach it through the hole. Grab onto that right knee. Pull that towards your face. Again, you can use your elbow to push that knee out a little bit farther. And breathe. Yeah, reach through the hole. Okay. Stand back up now. So we're going to go back to our arms again. We're going to just go the arm across the chest position. Pull it high. Keep it underneath the chin. We don't want to pull down and low. We want to stay up high like this. You can feel this in your scapula area in your back. I'm just breathing for a little bit. And we'll 
switch that out to the other side. that go. Now we're going to go to the arm behind the head or you can do an angel wing on this one. Angel wing is what Aiden's doing here. Now we're going to do a little addition here. So we're going to add this lean, the side lean in there so that we can get not only into this zone but down into the intercostals too. You can use your head to push back against your Elbow, lean it back a little bit more, that'll get more stretch into it. And we'll let that go nice and slow. Switch to the other arm, same thing over here. And lean. So for this next stretch, we're going to work on our legs. You're going to use a towel. So go find a towel nearby that will work for this. I'm going to get my towel here. Can't get my suit lay out here. So the towel is just there to add a little bit extra leverage so you can gain a little bit more pull on this kind of thing. You don't need a towel to do some of these stretches, but it does help. So we're gonna start off with our towel down around our foot, okay? And we're gonna straighten our leg out like this. And I'm just gonna transfer that to one arm, okay? So it's right leg, right hand right now with that towel. And I'm just gonna lean myself back nice and slow, try to keep the leg straight, okay? And if you can't, it, like so I've got a pretty close grip to my foot but I've got a little bit more hamstring flexibility so you see that Caleb's got a little farther away on his grip so you can adjust your grip length so that you can do this position to the best of your ability remember you want to feel that slight discomfort if you're not feeling anything grip up a little higher on the towel okay so from here now you're gonna to to take your hand and put it out the, the left hand put it out the side for balance you're going to bring that right leg down towards the right side. Again, keeping it straight, pulling that towel up towards your face. Try to bring your toes towards your head. Feel that in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Caleb? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah. if you're not feeling it enough, pull that towel tighter and get a higher grab. Okay, now we're going to lift that leg up. Okay, up back to the top of that uh, hole here in that scissor position. Now we're going to switch hands. I'm going to grab onto it with my left hand. I'm going to put my right hand out to the side. I'm going to bring it across my body here. All right, you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. the other leg. So I just put that towel around the foot, left leg, left hand this time, straighten the leg out as best you can, and just lay back nice and slow. Again, you can adjust your grip on that towel. What are you doing over there? I'm moving it. <laughs> All right. Kept on kicking it. Keep that leg straight when you're doing this. If you can't make your leg straight, you got to pull along or pull a uh, less on the towel okay, and, and get a farther grip away from your foot. So again, right arm out to the side now. We're going to pull that left leg towards the left side. Try to keep the leg straight when you're doing this. That'll help pull that hip open. It's all right. Don't worry about it. I'm good. You all right? Beautiful. Now we'll bring that leg back up to the top. I'm going to switch to my other hand. So my left leg with right arm, left hand will be out to the side here. I'm going to bring this across the body. So 
So I'm trying to keep my my shoulders on the ground here as best as I can. Right? I don't want to just fall over like this. I'm going to keep my shoulders on the ground, pull that hand or that foot up towards my face as best as I can. And we'll go back up towards the top and we'll bend that knee and come on up. Good. All right, so now we're going to go through our kind of track and field combo that we've done before. So right leg out, left leg tucked in. Good posture for this one. Inhale, arms up. This should feel a little easier now. Exhaling forward towards that foot. Now again, if you can't reach your foot, maybe grab your shoelaces, grab your sock, grab your pant leg, whatever you can to pull yourself forward a little bit more. And again, breathing is very critical. You're stretching. Don't hold your breath while you're doing this. You have to breathe in and out slow. On the exhale is when you get deeper into the stretch. And let that go. So now we'll take our bent leg, take this foot, and tuck it behind you. Notice my front leg stayed right where it was. It didn't do anything. Another thing to point out is when I do tuck this leg, I've got to keep my foot in line with my shin. Don't let your toe go out here to the side. No bueno. Yeah? Keep your toe tucked. Okay, that's going to help stretch out your shin muscles as well. Now, I'm going to reach forward again into my front leg, but with the opposite hand. Okay, it's kind of a cross-body type of hamstring stretch. <coughs> yeah, so that's a good point now. Put, yeah, try changing your head position. If your head is up, it's just focused on the hamstring. Put your head down, you'll feel that go into the back. You feel that healing? Mm -hmm. your back muscles so that helps too you want to stretch out those back muscles all right we're gonna let that go now we're gonna lean back so everything stays in line nothing's changing again very important when during this stretch that your foot is in line with your shin I can't stress that enough and you can only go back as far as you can without letting your knee come off the ground you might feel a little bit of adjustment here too Again, only go back as far as you can without that knee coming off the ground. And now we'll sit back up, do that carefully. Now I'm going to take my front foot, bend it to my knee, right? I'm going to lean towards my foot with my chest. This is very similar to the muscles that got stretched by the figure four muscles, that, or figure four stretch that we did a little earlier. And let that go. Now, leave this leg where it's at, bring the back leg forward, and we're going to do the same cycle on this side now. Strong back, inhale, arms up, exhale, and fall forward. Breathing, letting those muscles relax. It's been a good week of it, you know? We've done a lot of stuff this week, that's good. A lot of new stuff that you guys haven't done before, right? So the muscles are probably not used to that type of motion, that type of movement, so they're going to be sore. Guess what happens as you do it more and more, though? You get better at it, like anything. And your muscles become less sore because they're more used to moving like that. And as you move like that more and more, you become more athletic. When you become more athletic, you can become a better athlete. When you become a better athlete, you're a better swimmer. When you're a better swimmer, you go to the Olympics. Which are now going to be in 2021. Now you got a year to train. Let that go. Take this foot, tuck it behind you. Again, can't stress enough, keeping that foot in line with the shin, right? Cross body stretch.
and sitting back up, do that carefully. Take your front leg, bring it towards your knee, and lean forward towards that foot. go all right so now we're going to go to our calves right so one of the things that we can do for our calves is we're going to kind of put our feet uh, forward like this and we're going to come on down and we're going to place our elbows in between our knees and press out we're going to get two things at once so I'm trying to stretch the calves and I'm going to press my elbows against these knees that's going to help stretch out the groin so I'm getting calves and groin all at the same time and if you want, you can kind of lean back and forth a little bit, kind of loosen up the hips. So try to lean forward a little bit more so you're stretching more in the calf. You feel that now in the calf? So if you're sitting back, Caleb was sitting pretty far back where he's got a weight on the heels. I'm going to push my weight forward on the balls of my feet now. That'll help stretch out those calves a little bit more. And I'll put my hands down. I'm going to go to this kind of downward dog position. We're going to get our calves one more time, and we're going to go one at a time at your own pace. You do it carefully, right? You do. And come on back down to a seated position. Legs are going to be out in front. This is the under the arm hamstring stretch. This one can be challenging. You do the best that you can for this one. So you're going to take your arms. My legs are bent right now. I'm going to reach underneath my hamstrings. I'm going to grab onto my elbows or my forearms, right? Now, this is going to be a little bit more challenging for some of you guys who have less flexibility. That's okay. Just do the best you can. So your goal is to straighten your legs out and lift them off the ground. If you can't do that, just straighten your legs as far as you can go. You'll feel yourself getting kind of pulled down. Okay, this is an old school gymnastics stretch right here. That's crazy. Lift those heels off the ground if possible. And relax. And now we're going to go to partnership stretching. Okay? So the kids have not done partnership stretching before. I'm going to talk them through this. Hopefully you've got a partner at home that you can do this with. I'm going to roll my mat up and get it out of the way. But you do want a partner for this. If you, go, if you want to stop, you don't have a partner, you don't have to do the rest of these stretches. But it's just kind of nice to do these partnership stretches every so often to get a little bit of help with your stretching. <clears throat> so what we're going to do, and I'm going to have you guys kind of face, uh, maybe once you face this way, the kid will be your partner, right? So the first uh, stretch that we're going to do is going to be the uh, footballer stretch. So he's gonna, Aiden's gonna put his arms up like this, like he just made a goal, okay? Uh, or a referee who just made a, uh, said that there's just been a goal. You gotta stand up, uh, sit up, right like that. Caleb's gonna come behind, and he's gonna put his uh, leg right at the uh, at his buddy's spine, okay? So Caleb, go ahead and go there with your leg, right at his spine. Now Caleb's gonna take his arms and do kind of an upside down goal. And he's gonna reach down and they're gonna grab onto each other's elbows. Okay? Now, Aid's gotta make sure that he doesn't go up with his elbows. He's gotta stay down in this T position. And Caleb's just gonna kind of lightly press open on those shoulders. You'll feel that across the chest a little bit. Now the guy on the ground is in charge of saying stop or no more. Right? Can you go more in or Slowly. So when we do these partnership stretches, it's important that when you let go, you let go really, really slowly. So now he's going to move his hand, leg away. So now Aiden's going to go like he's getting arrested. He's going to put his hands behind his back, like or hands behind his head, like this. Caleb is going to reach over those two arms. Go ahead and reach over those two arms and reach down and behind and try to reach your hands behind and then just pull his shoulders back, pull his elbows back just a little bit, just a little bit. 
and then Aiden can be in charge of saying that's enough. So you just keep going back as far as you can until it says stop. And then let that go. And now we're gonna to go to a shoulder stretch. So Aiden's gonna put his hands behind him like this. Caleb's gonna grab onto his wrists. And then he's just gonna lift and kind of bring those wrists closer together until Aiden says no more. Another way to do this is also shake your fingers when you're saying, hey, I'm done. Good posture, good positioning. Keep your elbows straight. And if you get all the way to where they're touching, then you just kind of lift a little higher. Now this is the one you really want to let go slowly on, so let go slowly Sorry, and bring them back, yep, let go slowly. Let those arms come back, bring them around forward like this, that's good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go onto that hamstring stretch. So legs are straight. Caleb's gonna press on the lower part of his back, just slowly and gently. Aiden's gonna reach forward. We're gonna go through three exhales here. Okay, I'll help you on this one. So reach towards your foot, or reach towards your feet and drop your head down, big, big breath in, exhale, I'm gonna just push a little bit. Now I'm low on the back, I don't wanna be up here on the shoulders, I'm gonna be low on the back. Deep breath in, exhale, just go a little bit farther. Deep breath in, exhale a little bit farther. And I'll let that go, okay? Now I'm gonna to come to the front, on this one, I'm gonna just kind of pull down on the front of his feet, down like this. Point those toes, right? You're gonna help stretch out these shins. Take your, yeah, take your socks or shoes off, okay, good. So we're gonna kind of push down here, kind of help rain, that range of flexibility in the ankles. And now he's going to try to lift my hands up. So he'll, he will be able to lift it a little bit. You got a lot more strength in here than you might think, but you're gonna stretch those muscles out that way. So just a couple of seconds there. Now we're gonna go the opposite way. So I'm gonna push his toes towards his face, okay? And then he's gonna just slightly curl those toes forward. And let go. Now I'm gonna hold my fingers together like this. I'm gonna cup the fingers together like this, okay? And I'm holding his feet together. He's gonna to try to pull my hands apart from each other. So I try to pull my hands apart. And I'm pushing back together against that, now let go. Now I'm gonna to go to the inside, and I'm gonna push his feet apart, and he's gonna to try to bring his toes together. Now I'm not cranking down on his ankles on this, I'm just giving a little bit of resistance here. Okay, got that? So that's the first person cycle, now it's time for the other person to go. So Aiden's gonna be Caleb's partner on this one. So we'll start off with that footballer position, yeah. Just like this, Aiden upside down. Now put your put your uh, leg against his spine so that it's centered. No, 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 stand up. So just take this part of your thigh, your shin, turn your body like that. There we go. Just kind of press back. That'll feel across the chest, and we'll let that go real slow. Now the arrested position. You're gonna reach over those arms and behind the back and gently pull up and back. And let that go. Now we'll go to the shoulder position. Slowly bring them together. You can step back a little bit here. If they're touching, then just lift up gently. there and as we're relaxing forward okay now feel your legs go straight and you're gonna go for this, the lower part of his back oh, yeah. Caleb reach towards your toes deep breath in exhale and reach a little farther Caleb is just gonna add a little bit of extra pressure to help him reach deep breath in exhale and go a little farther now 
Deep breath in. Exhale a little bit farther. And we let that go. Now we'll come around to the front side. Might want to take your shoes off for this one, Caleb. Oh, you got socks. fancy socks. Look at you. All right, so go easy on him because of his uh, ankle, right? So he's going to push down against uh, the top of his feet. So scoot back a little bit, Aiden. And you're going to pull down on those toes like this to stretch out. Gym, nice and gentle. And while he's doing that, Caleb's lightly lifting up with his toes, trying to pull Aiden's heel or hands up. Right? And we'll let that go. Switch the other direction now. So Caleb's going to allow for Aiden to push back and pull that push down on the toes. And then Caleb's just going to slightly li lightly curl the toes forward. Good. Now Aiden's going to hold the toes together in the center. Not like super strong, just to give a little bit of resistance. Caleb's going to be trying to pull his toes apart from each other. And we'll let that go. Now the opposite. We're going to go in between the feet, holding them down. Bring them up here. Okay, so now slightly push down lightly, and you're going to try to keep your toes together, right? A little bit of resistance there. Good. All right, hopefully you're feeling relaxed and stretched out. Enjoy your bike ride tomorrow. If you go on one, we're going to. And uh, we'll see you uh, 